Hello, Whisper here. We're with Rust for the PC. I wanted to do a quick video to kind of show you how the game starts, kind of make some sense of all the different servers. So if you're a brand new player, wanted to try Rust, but weren't sure where to start and what kind of server you should be on, this is just a quick video. I am in no way an expert on Rust, but I've played long enough where I do know a couple things. So, uh, without further ado, when you load Rust, you're going to come to this screen that I'm on right now. Uh, this is the new Nomad suit. You can visit the store. As you see right here, there's a workshop. You can make uh, different skins and things like that. Rust Plus, the mobile app that you can use to kind of access certain parts of your game uh, remotely and news and we're gonna choose play game here in a moment but first I wanted to show you something real quick if you are playing with uh, if there's going to be children around the house or under 18 kind of players um, there is full frontal nudity in rust as a default uh, as you see here, if you go to the top option here, uh, you'll see censorship. Uh, currently, I have nudity set as underwear, but you could have it just pixelated, or you could just have it kind of let it all hang out kind of thing. So, one other thing you might want to keep in mind, depending on your computer that you're using, uh, if it's an older PC or perhaps underpowered, you may have to adjust some of the graphic settings to uh, let your computer not be uh, overwhelmed. Uh, but in this case, uh, play game here at the top. Now this is all the different servers. If you see the officials up top there, and if you look over here to the right, you see these are all vanilla. What's vanilla mean? Well, that's basically just like the name sound. Plain Jane kind of just like the developers made the game. There's no superpowers. You could fly or do any other thing. So um, you can get some information off these. These are straight PvP, player versus player. So if you wanted to jump right in and play player versus player, if you wanted kind of old school play uh, on the vanilla server, you can see the ping here on the far right and right next to that you see two numbers the second number shows how many people can be on the server 300 in this case uh, for instance russafield.com has 273 people playing so if you're just starting out you may will not want to jump in and have that many people uh, searching you out to kill you because <laughs> that's kind of how it goes you can also see this is a Server maps wipes weekly. No, tells how long it's been since a wipe. Two days in this case. Um, most of these you're going to see the same. Medium three. That's kind of not super hardcore, but not really easy either. It's kind of a medium. Uh, you can go to community servers, which are all very much similar. Uh, new players welcome. Just wipe eleven nineteen. So one hundred percent loot recovery which uh, softcore here, new Navy PVP. So maybe if you're just starting out and uh, only 50 people can get on this server, for instance, there's only one currently on there. Right after wipe, the first Thursday of the month is normally when a lot of the uh, servers wipe. Once a month, first Thursday, you're going to see more people around wipe in the few days after. Then you will, now that we're toward the end of the month, and today being Thanksgiving, there's maybe a lot of people on today just uh, wait, waiting for the food and the games to start later. But uh, that may be a good place to start. And this is soft core, uh, loot recovery. So uh, good way to learn, do it that way. I prefer myself the modded servers that uh, there's a million different uh, ways that can be. Uh, for instance, let's just grab one here. If you click on any one of these server names, you go to this other screen. It gives you a little more uh, information. Uh, Garnet Gaming Net, Delta 
2x server there's twice the experience the server will provide near vanilla style gameplay so this one is more just like an old school vanilla very close to it uh, there's stack sizes and uh, loot tables and uh, longer days shorter nights you see that in a lot of the modded servers uh, some people love the night some people love the day so nights you tend to uh, get more mats or materials uh, whether they be stone metal what have you you can also view web page you can go to their discord kind of check them out uh, if you're you know looking at uh, joining a server you may want to do a little bit of research first and uh, you can also if you see there's a little star here you can click this little star here and then next time you play the game you can go to your favorites and you'll see that uh, has been saved to your favorite you can also at times you can go to history if you man i was on some server but i don't remember what it was called you can go down here to your history and you can kind of see uh, this will tell you exactly how long ago you played so that's a, a quick tip but in this case, we're going to go to, I found this game earlier, Skyline PvE, no raiding, no killing, no decay, noob friendly. Uh, this is PvE. I prefer personally these days to play on the PvE side. You can see 153 people can play at the most. And right now there's seven people on. Uh, ping's pretty low at 26. So we're going to click this and then you go to little more information screen welcome to skyline pv no raiding no killing stealing noob friendly so if you're new and don't hesitate to ask questions uh, because most of the time people are quite friendly and they'll help you out uh, no killing yes means no killing sleepers either what's a sleeper well if you're playing rust and you're not in your base or you're not in a hotel or someplace you should be sleeping and you log out of the game it's just your character, everybody else sees, sleeping on the ground. So, um, that's what that means. No raiding or trespassing. Yeah, you can't go break into other people's bases and steal all their stuff. You shouldn't go even on to their base or into their base if for some reason the door was left open or whatnot. Uh, same thing with the looting. And as you see here, uh, no raiding, no killing, no stealing. Last wipe was 11-4, first Thursday of the month. Next wipe, 12-2, first Thursday of the month. Uh, sometimes during the wipe, uh, blueprint is what's used to show you how to make items in the game. And sometimes during a wipe, and I understand 12-2, uh, they'll be wiping the blueprint so what that means is whatever blueprint prints that you already know and items you can already make that will go away uh, we can all make basic items when you join the game which we're going to do now but remember a full list of rules you can visit the discord just go to uh, via web page and you can go there to their discord uh, I'm not worried about that right at the moment, but I am going to join the server. These days, it seems to take a good amount of time to uh, load into the game once you select a server. A lot of people will be getting uh, rust for Christmas, and uh, this will show you a little bit about the servers. Uh, PvE, some people love to play it. Uh, they can kind of learn the game, learn where things are in the game, learn how to survive just on your own against the environment. Animals falling, drowning. You can starve to death. You can die of thirst. So there's many ways to die. There's scientists, usually armed. Uh, there's... Uh, like a Bradley fighting vehicle in different monuments, depending on the server. There may be even extra. Uh, radiation is a concern on some, some servers. Uh, you need to be fully clothed or uh, they have rad suits available. 
that you can find when you're looting barrels, boxes, that kind of thing. Because you start out the game, you're naked and afraid. Some modded servers, you may start with a basic set of clothes and maybe a, a bow and a, a hammer or something like that. But you start the game with a rock and a torch, uh, for the most part, and naked as, as Jaybird. I'm going to show you some quick tips because you normally do not have uh, your food line, your water line, and your health line are usually not full when you start the game. I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to find some food real quick. What does food buy you? Well, food buys you time because uh, you will starve to death quite quickly if you don't uh, find some food pretty quick. I'll show you on the map uh, different places to look just for, uh, you can find mushrooms, you can find potato plants, uh, hemp plants we'll find in those areas too. Hemp, you get cloth, you can make your clothing and other items as you go through the game. Should be almost done. Here we go. Uh, as you see, I had loaded into this game, this server yesterday, so uh, I was killed by a bear. It seems like there's a lot of bears out here. Uh, you're sleeping. Press any key to wake up. Okay, we're awake. Uh, we know there's uh, like seven people we're playing, so I usually say, uh, well, today being Thanksgiving. Oops. Uh, that's the chat. You can just hit your enter key. Um, if you hit your tab key, you go to your inventory screen, and there's that famous rock, and there's a uh, little bit of a torch. These are hot bar down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, one, I pick up a rock. Two, you get a torch. Right click your mouse. You light it. Now, you can also hit with this thing. If a... Uh, if you just start the game and uh, a board's chasing you or a wolf or whatever, um, sometimes they'll run away when it's lit. Uh, hit your right mouse again, and you put that out. As you see, we got nothing here. Uh, we have 100 food, 75 water, 52 out of 100 on our health. So what I always do is find out where I'm at. You're this yellow dot here. Anywhere on the map, we want to go over here because I want to show you a good place to get food. But first, let's go right here because, well, let's go right here. That's a bigger area. But I'll go in the middle. See on your compass up top there, you can see I put that on the map. And we'll go over here. We see a box over here, so I'll grab that real quick here. Okay, this scrap here, this is money and rust. That's money. Metals, all the other things that you find, most of them. Just looking at a couple of bases here. Ooh, look at that one. All sorts of wind power. Now you can come up to these. And you can break these barrels. You find scrap and whatever, whatever. It could be most anything. So I got that. I got a tarp. Now when you see these red barrels. Crude oil. Low grade fuel. This is where we get our fuel. This we can turn later into more low-grade fuel. Oh, I always head to the trees, get this hemp when you see it. As you see, that gave us 10 hemp, which is cloth. 
instantly converted from hemp to cloth. That's pretty good. But look over here for... Mushrooms are like an orange color, and here's some right here. Okay, we found some mushrooms. So that's three on the hot bar. You can see mushrooms don't give you tons, but they can keep you alive if need be. Uh, you want to stop when you see these little, looks like a toolbox. Uh, like right here, look at that. We got a pair of pants. And if you notice, there's nothing here on your stats. 3% protection from wild animals, radiation 5, cold 8. So, we got some pants. Uh, you want to pick up these, like stones, sulfur, which later we can... Uh, Put that in a furnace and we can convert that. Uh, have more mushrooms. So these areas on the map, if you notice, it's a little bit darker green amongst all this other green in this case. Here's one, a big one over here. These here, which we're heading next, I wanted to show you real quick. Some of the best food in the game is a pumpkin. This is fresh water. This is salt water. This is all ocean. This is ocean. But these are fresh water. Uh, corn grows along the banks of these and also pumpkins. You have to be careful because there's usually bears and bears will outrun you and kill you pretty quick. So right click because I want to go this direction. So. As you can see, it's also getting dark. We're just going to follow that, see if we can get there before dark. You can see, uh, this is an NPC. If you push B down, oh, it doesn't work. Usually you could uh, wave and do different things. But if you come in here, you can buy a horse here. What do you have for sale? You can buy a saddle, a horse, horseshoes. Uh, because you can ride horses, you can uh, catch horses. some uh, big old bases but we're gonna use this corn and here's some uh, pumpkins You can hear bears actually because they make a lot of noise when they're walking, kind of like uh, stomping. Wood, especially in the beginning, uh, you need things like these. If you notice, I've got mushrooms at hot bar three. You can see how much that gives you. Now, if I use eat the corn, you notice. That gives more water and more food, so um, definitely. Now, if you go all the way over here, it'll five, and we try a pumpkin, you can see pumpkins even better. So, um, lots of choices with food. Uh, a couple more of these, but I don't. It's not very good to come through and just uh, take everything here because there's other people playing and they will need some too. And since this is close to where you spawn, you tend to always spawn in the beginning along the beach when you die. 
once you get enough cloth, you make a sleeping bag. You can put that down. When you die, you can spawn from your sleeping bag. Uh, you can see somebody's little base here they got going. They got some Christmas lights up. That's a mini helicopter you can fly, and later on we'll do a uh, do a flight or two and see how that goes. The good thing about Rust is there's so many different kind of servers, even within PvP and PvE, that you know it's a endless amount of things to do. Really, uh, I'm, I want to go back over here toward. Vending machines. You can set up your own shop. You can see here they're selling uh, hazmat suits, 40 scrap, uh, leather, whatever, whatever. Um, this one is, they have a store, but there's just nothing in this second machine. Whereas this one, storage monitor, uh, this is uh, where we stopped at the ranch here. But we're going to head back to this road. And you see here some more vending machines. One chair, one small candle. <laughs> but again, uh, right up there on the compass bar, you can hear there's an attack helicopter off in the distance somewhere. I can hear it. See the big old moon there. Eh? Uh, these are boats. You can actually take boats and uh, you can use that fuel and you can actually ride around in a boat. Now when you pick a lot of plants, you notice here uh, we've got some corn seed, we got some pumpkin seed, and we got this hemp seed. Uh, we can grow these later so Around your base, you could grow your own corn, your own pumpkins. Uh, worms, uh, you'll see when you're picking things up, you find worms and grubs and things like that for uh, fishing. I'm not worried at all because we only have this much space to carry things. So uh, you want to save some room for important things that you're going to need. Uh, you can plant these, like that hemp seed at six. There. We planted it. So. But as you can see, that uh, torch is slowly burning down. We'll save that corn for somebody else. Here. Always be look out for the hemp or anything that will keep you alive longer. There's quite a see there's some hemp here. Some metal ore. Sulfur ore. These when you see these little they look kinda like a milk crate. Uh, these always have Anti-radiation pills sometimes appear. Uh, water. We do need some water. So what you do is, uh, let's say you find this bottle, you can hit six. Your left button. And as you can see on the right, uh, my water intake is uh, up. I am going to save this because I wanted to show you well we're pretty close still to it yeah. let's go over here to the water and I'll show you how you fill that bottle you can also find uh, these metal they look kind of like a blue fuel can that you can also fill with water this is fresh water here so you can you can just hit E and you drink but in this case we have a bottle you right, hold down the right mouse button, 
And if you see, now there's 250 milliliters in that water bottle. So, I hear a, there's a bear chasing me. <laughs> if you ever look out and uh, you happen to be by a monument like this, uh, you're usually safe from uh, bears and wolves and different things. So we're heading over here, uh, just along the road here. And I'm still, as I'm running, if I see any hemp or anything I need to pick up. Like right here is a couple of Some stone. Now here's the road. So for a second here, we now have 40 on the hemp side. Um, you can also see when you hit tab, we know we have 40 hemp. Over here is showing you things you can make with what you have. So, uh, for instance, I could make that. Didn't really need to, but uh, I'm going to do a shirt right now. And as you see, we got 20 left. I'm going to go ahead and... Coming. Oh, it's going to be a kind of a foggy day out today. You can use this to scuba dive, but uh, not worried about that right now. Uh, put your shirt on. As you'll see, these stats here will go up. Every little bit helps. Uh, we have 20 left. But you can see there's lots of different things and they'll light up, so to speak. I get all the wooden stone, especially in the beginning. I'm just kind of uh, scanning the ground for him. I uh, want to make a bow here coming up. These red barrels, it's good to have some. Because if you need fuel for car zoom by. <laughs> look at the take a quick look at the, wow, look at that. Those are all solar water collectors. He's got a big truck up there that's like a giant water tank. Wow, what are he's doing all the water? Oh, he's got a greenhouse there. Wow, that's pretty cool. Another great part of uh, Rust, one of my favorite parts, is the uh, building aspect. It's uh, really pretty cool on Rust. But in the beginning, if you're playing PvE, it's not bad to be on the road. If you're PvP, that's where people tend to travel, so you may want to be more careful. But uh, in this case, like here's uh, somebody put down a sleeping bag. You can hear the attack chopper. When you hear that helicopter, as long as you have only up to two pieces of cloth or armor on, and you don't have any weapons in your hotbar, it won't bother you. It'll just fly right by. 
but if you have a, a weapon, even a bow, it will uh, attack you and kill you. We're just going to go over here to this gas station and then I'll wrap up this video. Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed or learned anything, uh, please comment below and uh, you got any tips or tri tricks for new players? Uh, there's a million of them out there. We all know a handful, I guess. Uh, there is weird, real weather uh, on this game, as you notice. It's real foggy today. Could be a rainy day. There's also parts of the map that are, you know, snow and ice is freezing, especially at night. When you come to these, if you see that star, if you hit the star, you get a little bit more than if you don't hit it. The better the tool, the more stone, the more wood, the more metal that you'll recover. And you just keep chopping on it until it's gone, as you notice. We got 525 wood, only 50 of the wood. We'll take this and we'll take this piece of metal. And here's some mushrooms here. So mushrooms are great if you got nothing else. It'll keep you alive until you can get better food. Uh, the corn, much better than the mushroom, and the pumpkin, much better than the corn. There's other things too. You can catch fish. You can collect berry bushes and uh, make tea. So as you can see, you can collect wood there. You can run up to a tree. Uh, if you see that X, that's like the star where... If you keep hitting the X, you end up with a little extra. So let's continue on. As you see here, there's a nice message there on the left. Type slash help to see a list of help talk topics. So if you do that in game in the chat. Uh, you can see here it uh, everything you want to know about this server. Uh, sometimes it's slash info but in this server it's slash help. So if you had any questions uh, you might find the answer there. If not, like I said, don't hesitate to just ask a general question. And people are usually uh, pretty good about it and they'll help you out. Uh, I want to make sure I grab when you see these boxes uh, you're always going to get your scrap money and you're always going to get things that we can scrap and uh, recycle them. Mechanic. See right here you'll be considered hostile if you have more than two pieces of clothing equipped or any ranged weapon. So this is an old convenience store kind of thing. We'll grab this uh, box here. I'll show you how to recycle it real quick first. I want to loot this room first, this box. And on this side, there's always, this is called a military box. That usually has better things. And how do we recycle this stuff? Well, a recycler looks just like this. Put it in there. Gonna recycle that back. 
and you'll see you'll come up with not only our scrap but this is metal fragment you use that to make things and also to make a, a better base this is high quality metal uh, same thing you use that to make different things Hemp, which you really need in the beginning a lot, before you have things, uh, grassy areas, always look for them. But as you can see now, uh, you know how to recycle things. There's these other kind of little boxes too, same thing. You can go on the roof on these, one of two ways, either this type, setup where you have an outside recycler. Here's another player. But some there's usually boxes up there. He's already looted it looks like. Uh, you can get these green cards. If you keep those, those are give you access to different places uh, that you wouldn't normally be able to get into. It's a card key for electronic door lock. Now this is pickles. Either pickles is either going to help you or hurt you. It's kind of a toss up. We'll eat one. See? <laughs> that actually took away. <laughs> it got me twice. But sometimes it's worth the gamble. Like here's some food, so we'll gain some of that back. I'm collecting anti-radiation pills. If you do get irradiated by going too close or into an area that's uh, high radiation, if you take one of those, that will make the radiation start going away. If you're near fresh water, you can jump in the water and kind of splash around and that'll wash it off. If you come across a dead animal, I guess he shot the animal. So uh, I was going to show you how to skin, but you'd see there's a guy up there still. Well, I'm going to call quits on this video, the very first, and I hope you learned a couple things at least. If you have any uh, comments, questions, uh, tips for everybody to learn, uh, please leave them below. Until next time, I'm going to continue on and the next time we're going to uh, uh, build a small base. We'll find a good location build a base. Okay, Till next time.